Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Anne. And today I'm doing a new series on my channel where I basically do predictions for love readings as well as career-based readings for just like the whole year. Like what's coming, what may happen, opportunities, all those things. So the first person I'm gonna be doing today is Jenny of Blackpink. Now, the reason I'm doing her today and the first one is basically because someone told me that the reading I did for her back in 2020, I don't remember the context of anything I said, so I might have to go and rewatch what I said. But someone told me and they came back and they were like, okay, the, re the prediction you did came true for her and etc so can you do like a part two to kind of like see what's happening what's coming in for her so that's the reason i decided to kind of like do her first and as well as like allegedly she and g dragon are currently dating we don't know if it's true or not but if it's true let's give her blessings the girl has been through a lot honestly so let's give her our best blessings and all the positive vibes but yeah without further ado i'm going to start with the reading right away but as you can see, I have three different decks here. I have the Steampunk Tarot deck. This is one of my favorite decks, and I'll be using this deck today again. And I have the Monology deck for the advice or kind of like to summarize the reading. And I have the Romance Angels to kind of like give some more details on the love portion. Now, this is not one of my favorite decks, to be honest. Like, I'm not fond of this deck at all, but everyone uses this so i'm like okay fine i'll use it as well to kind of like fit in the norm <laughs> but yeah um if you're new on my channel guys i would really appreciate if you can like and subscribe and join my small community and if you want to book a personal reading with me all the links and all the prices are going to be in the description box down below so without further ado let's start with your reading all right so let's start all right, so prior to recording this, I have already shuffled the cards to kind of like get into her energy, but I'll shuffle this one more time to kind of like see, and then we're gonna proceed. All right, so let's start. I'm gonna keep those three cards out because I think they wanted to come out. So the first, is the two of cups amazing card to get nine of pentacles five of cups the will of fortune okay interesting cards Also, one more thing, guys, this is just to kind of like give a disclaimer so that people don't cancel me and come after me. This is a very generalized reading. I might give some hypothetical examples based on what she's currently doing and her pathway to kind of like make more sense of the reading. So please don't cancel me. Don't come after me if I say a certain word and you think it's not right. Also, don't take this reading as anything that important. This is just for entertainment purposes only. So yeah. That's all I had to say. Seven of Swords. The World card. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Nine of Swords. Okay. All right, for now, let's keep this eight cards and kind of like explain this and then I'll pull more cards, all right? So the first card, the two of cups. So I don't want to be the one saying like, okay, she's probably dating someone. But I do want to say and emphasize that there is love in the air for her. Like even if it's not a romantic relationship, she has like friends and family members that are kind of like always supporting her behind the scenes. And she is very well loved. This could be talking about fans. This could be talking about her family and friends. But I'm kind of like taking this as like everything here. She has support system around her. She has people that are supporting her regardless of whatever is happening. So I did hear some rumors that people were kind of like canceling her. People were kind of like bashing her for doing this. So this is what I'm kind of like seeing in the beginning, which is aka from now to maybe a few months. 
is she has support like regardless of what happens regardless of what people says regardless of any type of rumors that are spread fans and family members are there for her they're kind of like supporting her it's kind of like intertwined as you can see in this card so i definitely see this energy here where she is well loved she is taken care of all right um moving forward i feel like um in terms of like this nine of cups and five of cups moment it's kind of like emphasizing that she could have like a few on and off days so i know that she's doing like youtube channeling and like does videos time to time i feel like she may post one or two videos and then kind of like dips and kind of like comes back again so it's kind of like i see like something on and off on and off for her like in terms of like producing something in terms of like doing something she is doing these things she is doing a lot of different things with the nine of pentacles it's like someone who has the abundance in terms of finances and career and she's taking all these things and she is like really good at this but at times i feel like she may kind of like get a bit drained and kind of like takes break so in the beginning i definitely see she has support system love is definitely in the air for her this could be talking about romantic wise or platonic wise as well but she definitely is well loved and was supported by friends family and fans as well and then moving forward i definitely see her kind of like producing some things this could be like content for her youtube channel contents for like different other channels or like maybe uh the endorsement she has maybe producing content for that i definitely see that here and she has like lots of things on her plate as well like with the nine of pentacles she has the abundance she's taking in and she is kind of like producing all those things but there will be some days and some moments where maybe she's not going to be as active or she's kind of like taking a break so let's say for example she posts something on her youtube channel and then she kind of like disappears for a week or two or even a few months and then she kind of like comes back again but nonetheless this energy is not permanent this is a very temporary energy where she's kind of like very sad or kind of like just not in her usual self this is what like a very temporary energy and she is going to come out of this energy regardless so you may also kind of like see some cryptic messages on her social medias like maybe she does like some live sessions and you can see that her mood is not the best she's kind of like very sad or even in captions i definitely see a sense of like cryptic messages that fans may notice here and there where she could like like she could like you know seem like she's very sad or if anything she kind of like is posting could have a sense of like you know sadness there but nonetheless whatever this energy is and how it kind of like proceeds it's a very temporary energy it's not going to be permanent in her life it's a very temporary phase and she is going to come out of it as stronger and kind of like keep everything behind um i feel like to some extent she could be ignoring some things as well so let's say um we all know jenny is kind of like a very i'm not a like a huge blackpink fan but i do be stalking and i do be kind of like following them because their music is dope so um i feel like we all know jenny as kind of like a very bubbly person when she's kind of like by herself and kind of like with her friends and families but when she's on stage that that girl just snaps right so i kind of like see that here as well like she is going to have like this resting like resting bitch phase or kind of like resting bitch phase as well where she is kind of like ignoring all the negative things that people are kind of like giving into her or kind of like uh rumors that are being spread by her she's almost in a way kind of like ignoring it and kind of like closing the doors like she's seeing everything like right now like let's say if there are media play where people are kind of like bashing her people are kind of like saying like oh it's not true and even if people are kind of like you know making rumors it's like they did not hide their relationship etc whatever that case is i'm kind of like seeing she's ignoring everything she is not gonna say anything about it she's totally going to ignore it and just do her own thing so her own own thing could be like if she is kind of like endorsing something she's going to continue doing that if she has like a certain type of aesthetics on her youtube channel she's going to continue doing that she's not going to kind of like do anything that kind of like i guess fuels the rumors a bit more almost in a way kind of like ignoring it all like even though she's seeing all these things she's ignoring it she has come out of this energy where she was sad about it or was contemplating of the things that are kind of like happening and she did come out of this energy and she is doing better now and almost in a way kind of like ignoring all the problems ignoring all the rumors that are kind of like being spread all right so um 
after this energy kind of like passes by the next three cards are very interesting with the world card and the eight of pentacles i definitely see her working on different type of projects and fans are definitely going to see them and kind of like are going to be very static and excited about that most of the things she's kind of like doing like maybe interviews endorsements and anything she does is going to be very publicized and people are going to like some of them and I definitely see her working really hard on a lot of different things. So I definitely see her maybe kind of like endorsing or kind of like doing more gigs with the current um, brand she is connected with. She could also end up like getting something different. So let's say if I'm not mistaken, currently she is um, endorsing Chanel and maybe the Soju brand. But aside from that as well, I definitely see her working on those things, putting, pulling out like different advertisements or different kind of like modeling gigs for those things. You will definitely see those things happening for her, like maybe being in the cover of a magazine and kind of... Um, giving interviews regarding Chanel or even like the Soju brand. So definitely doing a lot of like different advertisements and gigs for the current brand she is connected with. These are the only two brands I know, guys. So that's why I'm giving that as an example. And I definitely see her working on different things as well, though. Like with this card, as you can see, she has a lot of things on her plate and she's working on those things. But as you can see, the door is kind of like slightly like open and to me this is kind of like talking about even though she has all these things on her plate the door is still kind of like small like it's still open to some extent she could still get some other gigs she could still like have other things on the side that you could see happening as well so to summarize i definitely see her kind of um doing some gigs or different like advertisements regarding the endorsements or things she already has on her plate but Aside from that as well, I see her working on some different things behind the scenes. This could be talking about like maybe producing music. This could be talking about, let's say, maybe um, producing even covers for her YouTube channel. I definitely see something regarding music or something behind the scenes that are kind of like she's working on it, but maybe fans are not going to be able to see it for some time. Like she's kind of like keeping a secret and then boom, out of like nowhere, she's kind of like talking about it. Um, I definitely see her in this like anxiety based energy though regarding like everything that's kind of like happening. One thing I want to say is everything that's kind of like happening in her life this year in terms of love, in terms of career and finances, it's very overwhelming to some extent. Like even though she's kind of like strong on the exterior side, she is like she's someone that I feel like worries about everything and kind of like has a bit of I don't want to kind of like di diagnose her to some way, but I feel like to some extent she does overthink and does have a bit of like anxiety about situations and things she does. And it does get overwhelming at times for her, even though she may look like she's doing fine, but she does question everything a lot. And I feel like to some extent, this is also talking about something that she has been working behind the scenes. She's kind of like worried about this thing that people are not going to like it. People are going to kind of like put hate comments on her way. And hence why there is kind of like this worrisome energy I see here, where she's kind of like worried about putting out this content out because, um, people people might kind of like question it and that's kind of like one of the things that she's very worried about and hence why maybe a reason why she's not putting this content out is because she's worried about what people are gonna say all right so to summarize what i see in this eight cards is she is definitely loved and supported by fans and love is in the air for her this could be in a really like romantic way this could be in a platonic way as well i definitely see her working on different things the things that she's already working on the things that she's already connected with she is working on those things but aside from that as well i do i see different things for her like maybe music even or maybe a kind of like endorsing like different brands putting on like different type of contents for her channel but she is definitely doing something out of the ordinary that she hasn't done before um, and people are definitely going to see it on social media, different type of advertisements are coming her way, different type of like shoots are coming her way as well. She is going to have kind of like a roller coaster of emotion though, like there will be some days and moments where she could be a bit sad about her situations and things that are kind of like happening. And then there are going to be moments where she feels and she's kind of like ignoring all the problems altogether. But nonetheless, it's kind of like a roller coaster of emotions, how she's kind of like feeling overall this year. Like she will 
have these moments where she's questioning everything a lot. Um, okay, so I see three nines in this reading. Nine of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands as well. So nine could be a significant number here. Like maybe something happens in September or the ninth of a month, 19th of a month. But nine could be a very significant number in terms of her um, this year. I also feel like when you have like two repeating numbers in a reading, it kind of like signifies to me that um, she she's kind of like has again like a lot of things on her plate and she's not closing any of those things anytime soon. So even though she might take breaks here and there, even though you might not see anything for her for some time, she's not ending on any of those things and kind of like still to some extent holding on to those things. So let's say for example, um, she posted some things on her YouTube channel, but then she kind of like takes a break. But she's not quitting YouTube altogether. She's going to come back again and she's going to post something different again. So I definitely see her kind of like sticking around and holding on to the things, despite her sometimes questioning everything. All right. So this is kind of like the for the tarot portion. Let's move on to the Oracle cards to see what they have to say to kind of like summarize the reading. Personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. Confidence is the key to your success. Of New moon in Leo. I'm going to pull four cards. Show the world the real you. Full moon in a curious. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Let your friends help you. Love yourself first. Free yourself. Past life relationship. Okay, very interesting. Okay, um, I can interpret this in two different ways and I'll definitely say both of the ways. The first card that's kind of like sticking out to me here is the past life relationship. I feel like um, whatever is happening in her love life or in her life currently, there are a lot of different people that are still kind of like, um, kind of like considering her and kind of like still taking her as like someone that she was with people in the past. Um, so I, if I'm not mistaken, she was with Kai in 2018-19 era. So what I basically see here with the past life connection is people could still be shipping her with Kai. People still could um, kind of like, I guess, make them a, like a thing, like maybe posting different things or maybe still kind of like in a way targeting both of them together. It's like may there are there could be like some anti fans or like maybe even like some fans that are still to some extent saying like, oh, you were better with Kai. Kai was definitely better. She's still probably uh, secretly seeing Kai and this G Dragon or all these things are kind of like just something to kind of like distract so i definitely see some type of like rumors regarding that that some people are still digging up her past and kind of like bringing things from her past to kind of like compare them to what she's doing right now so that th she's definitely going to have like moments like this as well um aside from this i feel like she could be connecting with people from her past this just necessarily doesn't have to be love related this could be talking about friends as well she's connecting with people but nonetheless i definitely see that people are kind of like digging things from her past and kind of like um in a way targeting her and kind of like still uh, making sure that she's still uh situated with that like still influenced by that situation to some extent i definitely see that here 
Um, one of the things I definitely see in the tarot portion and in the love portion as well is she is definitely loved by friends. This could be her fellow Blackpink members, these are fans as well. Nonetheless, whatever happens, whatever rumors, whatever hate she gets this year, there are people who are supporting her and in a way she is well loved by everyone around her. But one of the things that she has to kind of like do this year is definitely kind of like give in to herself. Um, like I said, like she could have like phases where she is sad, but she is kind of like moving past that energy kind of like a boss bitch. But there will be some moments though where it's like, in a way she's ignoring those problems instead of kind of like, I guess, reaching like a personal resolution, aka this card here. And hence why it's kind of like with the full moon in Cancer, love yourself first, free, or free yourself. I feel like it's talking about the fact that she has to kind of like get emotionally stable for herself not because of other people not because of fans friends or anything she has to kind of like do it for herself because to some extent she does get overwhelmed at times she does get sad but she moves on from those things but she doesn't fully let go of those things she kind of like in a way shuts that door and kind of like in a way sneakily moves on from it but she doesn't personally kind of like uh, have like those moments where she's like fixing those issues for herself so i think in a way that's something that's definitely going to have this year like in the beginning as you can see she has um full moon in cancer a personal issue reaches resolution so i feel like she is definitely going to kind of like have a transformation in terms of how she kind of like feels for herself or how she kind of like proceeds with things and how people kind of like see her as like there is definitely going to be a different perspective this year and she is going to kind of like come out of like different things that she has been going through for some time this could be past trauma this could be past like connections she has been holding on to she's definitely kind of like letting go letting those things go and kind of like freeing herself and kind of like pouring into herself definitely um that she is definitely going to have like a different style as well this year confidence is the key new moon and leo leo is all about kind of like showing off or kind of like in this energy where they they have the confidence and i definitely see her as well with this as well this year she could be doing like different styles as well like she could literally color her hair red and she's gonna pull that off really really well and the confidence is the key people are gonna really like the new things that she's kind of like giving into like maybe different styles of clothing different types of makeup different like hairstyles she's definitely kind of like experimenting and she's doing it really well as well i see that for her this year um show the world real you i feel like to some extent she may have those like phases or kind of like videos on her channel or even interviews let's say where she's kind of like showing a different side of her that people necessarily don't see all the time so she could be putting out content on her youtube channel like morning routines nighttime routines where she kind of like shows a day in her life what she kind of like does how she is as a person kind of like the real side of her rather than the jenny of like blackpink on stage so she is definitely doing something different i definitely see that here it's time to take action after she kind of like um goes through this phases where she's emotionally kind of like getting stable she is definitely going to be putting herself out there new moon and aries aries is all about impulsive action or impulsively showing something off she could be doing this like out of like nowhere fans are going to be surprised and kind of like see different contents from her or kind of like news from yg that jenny is gonna do this and that jenny is gonna be the like the model for this new brand blackpink is gonna be doing this or like she is gonna be producing something or she is kind of like producing different music stay tuned for that so kind of like different things i definitely see her working behind the scenes and in the right moment she is definitely going to kind of like bring it up but the one thing i see her kind of like struggling this year is like kind of like this overwhelming energy she might have at times but she is going to come out of this energy though so i feel like this year is going to be very strong for her and kind of like very important for her in terms of like personal growth as well all right so that's what I see guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's reading and I would really appreciate if you guys can thumbs up this video and subscribe. Let me know if you want me to kind of like cover up any other celebrities and as well as guys if you want to book a personal reading with me where you kind of like get a one-on-one -on -one session with me all the links and all the prices are going to be in the description box down below. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.